I made someone cry. We were shooting in the storm, and but we wanted that, so the the client wanted that, and we were. I was driving. It was a four wheel drive. I was driving, and we were driving through some terrain, and it was completely safe, one hundred percent safe. And then there was like a thing that I thought I could go under, and I drove into it, and then we got stuck. I couldn't get us out of it. Yeah, it was it was a little bit embarrassing for me. The designer was like loving it. And the the model was actually like about to like have a panic attack. It's like, oh my gosh, we're gonna be here forever. And I think it's like, no, 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 it's fine. And so it was, it wasn't, it was serious at the time. But now looking back, it was pretty funny. I bought everyone flowers just like, oh, this is so sorry. It was totally my fault. The first time I knew what I wanted to do、uh, was in high school. My media studies teacher and my English teacher, who made me fall in love with the idea of narrative and、uh, with and storytelling, and so it actually progressed from there. A lot of my inspiration comes from feeling how I am, or how my emotions are dealing with things, and so it actually all my inspiration stems. A lot of it is inward, and how I want to express whatever I'm feeling. With a certain subject, the worst advice I got was from because I I like to shoot in the fashion industry, and then at the same time I have quite a bit of、um, Christian roots, and so one of the advice that I was given a few years ago was to adjust your adjust yourself to your Christian. Audience, so like you have to limit yourself. You have to be accountable to them, and so from a lot of that came a few years where I was afraid of shooting what I wanted to do, shooting what I felt was cool and what I felt was okay, because I had to shoot with the idea that people were expecting something from me. And so from then on, even though like I did really cool things and I had really cool projects, a lot of it seemed not, and a lot, a lot of it seemed fake. And so yeah, that was probably one of the worst advice because it was pretty much telling me that I'm, my art and my profession and my work is dependent on other people. The best advice I was given was. The exact opposite of my worst advice. It was given to me by one of my mentors, and he told me to shoot from your heart and then to be、um, to be to shoot for yourself. And so it's like the principle of, I guess, falling in love, is that you shouldn't create your personality out of pleasing someone else.、Um, you should be secure in yourself, and then other people will be attracted to you. And so that I stem that into my photography. You know, shoot for yourself. Be Happy with what you're shooting,、um, and people will fall in love with that. So I have two different role models, professionally and personally. Professionally, I love Dave Richards. Dave, he's a Christchurch photographer, but he shoots internationally. And my favorite thing about him is that he cultivates creativity. He just cultivates the next generation, and he's so secure in his work. And that is what I find amazing, especially in the fashion industry. To have someone who's so secure, and because he's so secure, he is able to inspire the next generation, and I think that's the most amazing trait. Personally, a pastor from Mosaic Church, who is also a pastor and an artist, and I love him just because he's reading. He has lots of different books and reading about how to balance art versus God is such an amazing thing. My dream job would be to work for Vogue or for Net Geo. So, I love the idea of going to different cultures and learning about a different culture, and so that's why I love the idea of Net Geo. And Vogue, I love. I would love to work for Vogue because they create the most inspiring kinds of photo shoots. So it's not just the generic ones, but they're so like inspired and it's so creative. <laughs>